Oh, this is gonna be good. I've given up on that fairness thing I was so focused on before, after I took some time to think about it, but I don't regret my actions at all. I have somehow been able to get a pardon and agreement to devote my experience only towards helping other people. Lads, this is breakthrough. What's good, everybody? My name is Nisa here. Welcome back to Incredibox. So today, I am here with what pretty much is the sequel to Oren Ao. So, this is breakthrough. This is made by the same exact guy who made Oren Ao, and I just quite frankly I'm fucking horrified <laughs> very similar to last time we have a separate game of just all of the descriptions and the lores of the characters so this one's gonna be a long one so it just 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 pop a squat get you a drink get you a snack get something to help you with your time maybe you still got some leftover Halloween candy and let's delve right into this shit yeah let's go oh that guy's fun okay so this guy is just chilling. He's just a heartbeat. Noah Dot, age 24, gender male. Description, had a very bad heart problem, so a heart transplant was arranged. April 4th, 2026, Noah Dot. Frick, we performed the transplant on the wrong person, so it failed miserably. What? Sounds great. Ooh. The guy's like an actual instrument. <laughs> the first Orneo had like no like actual instrument type of shits in the mix. So, you know, that's that's pretty fair. Campbell Robbins, a man who wanted to confront the cult and join, who failed the initiation the cult had made when Dave left. Am I stupid or is that horribly written? There's like no like punctuation in this entire thing. He tried to sneak into the hospital Dave worked in and cause the death of someone in the building who looked like they deserved shit. Okay, well, no, I'll be damned. While searching, they bumped into the most beautiful person they have ever seen in their life who promptly spilled a strong acid with a lot of bacteria inside of it all over them. Wholesome. He was kept at the hospital to receive extensive treatment. His eyes shriveled up and fell down his face. Holy shit. When the acid was poured on him. Okay, this guy's fantastic. Yep, and then this is him now. What a good lad. What the fuck happened to you? What's this guy's story? He's louder than Sid, but he's cool. Oh my god. <laughs> That genuinely scared the shit out of me. I fucking jumped like a dipshit. That actually scared the hell out of me. <laughs> What's going on? Binder Toddry. The cult just hated this person, so they made his head a very large clock hand from a very large clock to own as an antique by Dave. Who the hell is Dave? Yo, Dave's got some shit going on. Binder Toddry hasn't been found yet right now. He sits in Dave's closet replacing his favorite antique. Damn. Okay, so Dave is like our boy of the hour. He's the bitch of the mix. What a dickhead. And this is what he did to the man. Man, we already got some crazy shit going on, lads. We, we already got the lore down packed. It's way more music, though, than actual Orneo. Not too bad. I could kind of dig it so far. Okay, what we got? Yo, this guy's nutty. Look at his mug! Just a simple little man. Cool. Tara Beckham, 42 female. She had received a concussion and severe damage to the spine. We gave her a skeletal framing attached to a breastplate to keep her upright. And we are still working on the concussion. Fair play. It appears that the blood from the injury covered a lot of her face and dripped into her eyes, making them a red color. That is so cool. Yes, I love that. This is all, th yeah, th this is a, uh, this is a wholesome game. This is already fucked. <laughs> oh my God. Am I the only one who's like stressed out from this? Like, I don't know why. I don't know if it's just because this is just like a huge deal thing or it's just spooktastic. Oh, there's no way in hell I can show that. There, there's surely no shot that I can show this. Also, this mod is guaranteed to get taken down. <laughs> Damn. Holy hell, look at this man. What the hell is your story, bro? Mike Jacobs, how about that? Mike had donated his body to science, but I think he was stabbed in the... <laughs> I think he was stabbed in his eyes and his arm had been degloved. Holy shit. You gotta stop talking for a sec, lad. You are louder than sin. Ugh! Degloved? 
Good God! So he was mostly useless. Fantastic. I decided the best decision would be to at least give him some sort of use. So I simply used him as a sort of knife rack. No one comes here anyway, so who cares? Yo, the homeboy Mike! Bro, Mike got dicked! Why did Mike just get, like, mega screwed? Did he even do anything bad? He just donated his body to science. And then they did this? Man, science sucks! Poor guy! Look at the man! Oh, Why does he bring a thump and beat as well to the mix? Oh my god. It's the homie! Is this fucking Tab? Negative balls, hey, is this the man? Wait, I think it is. No, it's not. It's Dave! What? It's Dave! Yo, look at him. Dave is a man with a skin pigment disorder from birth and an undiscovered brain tumor in his head. He now works as owner of Ferrotech. This is the guy. This is the antagonist. Th th this is the main bitch. This is ho numero uno, baby. What a prick. I refuse to believe that this is whoever the fuck Dave is. Like, I, I don't give a shit. In my own little head cannon tab is Dave. I'm just gonna say, they, dude, they're literally identical. He just has earrings. Maybe Dave is Tab's real name, you know what I mean? Like a Peter Parker to a Spider-Man kind of shit. I'll be damned. I don't, can I show this? I, I really have no idea. It's like, trust me when I say it, it's really bad. Like, it's really, like, for a scratch mod, this is super detailed. And you can't show this kind of stuff on a YouTube video. Like, that, that's not my fault. I'm sorry. Blame Susan. I don't, I don't. Let me also just say this as well. I'm going to put a link to this mod in the description. But if the link doesn't work, do not be shocked. It is honestly got a freaking miracle that this is even up in the first place. Because it's like, how the hell? Okay, so this creepy bitch... What's your story, baby? Smith Tank. At 21, he got drunk and into a car accident. He got brain damage and was given a lobotomy, but this wasn't legal. However, it worked. But the chance of this method of anti-brain damage was completely erased when some came over and blew his face in pieces with a shotgun. <laughs> Holy fuck, he was then dissected in a shed. Dude, this is nuts. What happened to the man? Why? <laughs> fuck. Holy shit, dude. Bro, oh my god. The, dude, the creator of this is a sick son of a bitch, dude. He, he, he genuinely is. Oh my god. What a fucking trooper this man is. And this is his sound. Incredibly fun and wholesome. Gotta love it. All right, here we are, baby. Can't wait to see this guy. Oh, it's gonna be so fun. I can guarantee you it'll be the most wholesome thing you've ever seen. Alex Parkinson. How about that? Age 39, wanted to be immortal. Asked his co-workers to make him immortal with a lot of ignorance. Dave just said okay and put him in one of those weird tanks which people float inside of in almost every sci-fi movie. Now he stares and watches Dave work for hours upon hours. He made a bad decision. I don't know how to feel about this fucking thing, bro. Like, this mod has, like, genuine humor in it. Like, there, there's literally jokes in the descriptions. But then it also, in the same paragraph, hits you with the most devastating ass sentence you've ever heard in your life. Bro, what is going on? Just that final line, he made a bad decision. Bro, that can fuck you up to here. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, dude, this is ass. I don't like these. I don't want to play no more. Look at this goop. I'm getting a headache from this damn thing, bro. What are you? Whoa. Oh, I gotta see it. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold the sec. Hold it. Shut everybody. Shut the hell up. This man's name is Dave Roy. Wasn't that the same? Wait, hold, hold. Explain to me. Explain 
to me! What the fuck? Why is he the same? What's going on? What happened to Dan? Another clone. The skin had melted off, unfortunately. I will try again tomorrow. What a- Oh my god, it's a clone of him. That's why his name is Dave. Oh, shit. Oh boy! Yes. This is that wholesome quality content that I've been waiting for. What a fucking douche. Oh, I hate all of that. I can't listen to that. I don't know why. Yeah, feels like a vacuum of the dentist. Harley Heil. After her little sister's tragic accident, she's been desperate to pay the hospital to even keep her alive. She knows that her sister is beyond saving, but she at least wanted to see her one- Shut the hell up, you're interrupting my fucking flow! Still wanted to see her one last time before her final breath. Unfortunately, Harley did instead. Sweet! Um, wait, hold up. Before we read any further, hang on a second. Okay, shut up. After her little sister's tragic accident, she's been desperate to pay the hospital to even keep her alive. She knows that her sister is beyond saving, but she at least wanted to see her sister one last time before her final breath. Unfortunately, Harley did instead. Do you understand how fucked of a sentence that is? She's an intern of just one of her jobs that she worked for since the whole hospital bills thing, when she was cleaning a room when she wasn't supposed to be there. She overheard a cultist talking about the incident and made her realize that this company was behind it. Though the realization only lasted for a short time, since TAB! Yes! And I was right! Since Tab whacked her with an old TV when he was behind her the whole time, he hid her body somewhere in the back alley. I was fucking right! Tab is- Yo, Tab is nuts! Mr. Negative Balls himself is the one behind the shit! What a twist! What a twist! This mod is incredible. Look at this dick! Especially since they got your bitch ass playing in the background at all times, bro. You can go fuck yourself. Alright, let's go. Yeah, this looks just nothing but wholesome, you know? Just like in, like in every way wholesome kind of thing. Oh, he does sound really nice, though. Actually, it's sad. Oh, this is depressing as shit. Name it, S2IDS. Fantastic. Homeboy was at the bar and had their drinks spiked. Then they were taken somewhere to be the host for the first FFC stab bulb. What the fuck? After waking up, he tried to move and struggle out of the restraints, but he just hurt when he tried. Eventually, the thorns tore into the flesh and made a large hole in his left hip. He died of blood loss one minute later. What? Bro, this is... This is just depressing. Like... This is so creepy and so fucking scary and weird that it just borderlines on sad. It's like, damn, man. Homie just went to a bar just to chill. And then he was drugged, kidnapped, held hostage, tortured, and killed. Bro, what the hell? Also, why doesn't he have an actual name as well? Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. What? I'm just sitting here just dumbfounded now. Like, I got nothing for you. Like, I, I got- I got no words. I got no words. Yo! Fucking respect to the homie, man. He just got bonered in every way. My god. I don't know why that hit me so hard, but it just did. It's just because of the fact that he was just so steady chilling. Like, he didn't even know what was going on until it was too late. And then you got this fucking guy, man. Alright, what's your story, bro? Can't wait to see it! Melody 2, this is stupid. Mac Hands. Okay, outside universe note. This is only how he looks around once a week. And it is his choice to look like this. Dave doesn't force him into this. Wow, okay, um, lovely. We do not wish to document anything about our- But he has allowed me to talk about how it works. 
as I will lose my job if I don't. It starts with connecting the uppermost wire to the head, and it will, will allow you to simulate any experience. This allows- This guy is just fucked. What do I- what do I do here? Like, what, what the hell is this? Ah. Oh. What am I supposed to say? Like, like, what, what do I say? What, what, what kind of, what kind of reaction am I supposed to give this? I don't know how to commentate on this. This is just, just sad. It's just depressing and morbid. I don't know what, the, I don't, what do you want me to say? He chose to look like this. <laughs> Bitch, why? All right, here we go, lads. Oh shit, this is the man. This is from the last game. This is from Warren AO1. Oh, God. Okay, he's back. All right, what's your story now, lad? Kratzper, the homie, main man. Okay, yeah, so Tab and Kratzper have returned for the sequel. Still no lilac, but that's fine. Maybe Baby Girl's just resting in peace. You know, that's fine. That, who cares? Okay, Kratzper was the first patient to have been treated by Dave and had attempted to commit after eight months of the surgery. But his skull, being somewhat replaced with metal, didn't give in to the rock. This resulted in him just damaging his eyes and a great concussion. After waking up, he screamed and broke his voice box in his throat. Ah, uh, That's the Lilac's guitar, isn't it? Oh my god, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do! I don't know what to say! I- I- I'm- I'm just speechless. I like- I- I- I'm out. I'm all out, bro. I'm tapping out. Yo, tag team this shit, bro, cause like, I'm just- I have never pl- Yo! Ah! I have never played a mod that gave me such insane feelings, bro, because it's like- Every now and then, some of the descriptions straight up have humor in them. But then you'll have another guy who is so demented and depressing that it makes you rethink your freaking life. Like Pim at the end of the first episode of Smiling Friends. Like, that's how I feel right now reading this shit. Also, Tragibox really just gets a pass in terms of music. I don't give a shit about the music in this, bro. Tragiboxes don't count for music gain. If, if this is shit, in terms of actual music, I don't fucking care because I'm not looking at the beat quality versus the effects. Nah, we're done with that. Right now, we're being told a story, bro, and I'm here for that story. Now we got the two sluts going together. Now we got this fucking- Oh. You are a guaranteed jump scare. Unless you're not. Oh, I hate that. Oh, that. Oh, yes, sir, baby. You see that right there? Does anybody see that right there? That right there is a dickhead. Not a fan of that. Oh, boy. Not in the damn slightest. I look at that and I say no. Uh, especially with that being his noise as well. What happened? Bro, Tragic Box doesn't fucking play, man. I don't understand it because, like, the grammar and, like, the spelling and all the descriptions are so shit. But then you play the mod itself and it's, like, the best, most professional shit you've ever seen. I got no idea. This is him again. This is him again. This is Tab. This is another clone of Tab. My first attempt, the only goal is to duplicate my brain and put it in a body. As I left it, I had forgot about it, and it grew much too large. When I finally took him out, he felt so happy, but his head, being very heavy, fell down and snapped his neck. Wowie zowie, what a great story! Bro, this is just... Oh my god. So, Orneo was about, like, this ferrofluid shit that would essentially make victims and dead people practically immortal. That was kind of the gist of it. And this one is about, like, cloning yourself and shit, right? It's just, like, it, it's still a cult. They're still torturing the shit out of people, but... Homeboy Tab now is the main villain. He, he straight up is just the bad guy of the group. Ah. Uh, thank God it was Tab, at least, to get the villain role. Like, what if it was, like, the most minor character from Orneo got to be, like, the main villain? Actually, that'd be kind of interesting, though. This is so depressing. Like, this is genuinely disheartening to listen to. Fantastic, lads. I love it. All right, who we got next? Oh! Oh, wait a minute. Yo, we got an actual bumper in the mix. Hang on, wait a second. 
take a dance break. Okay. Mm. 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 Okay. A. 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 Okay. Fantastic. Let's see his fucking miserable ass life. Same thing, another guy. He got stuck. What an idiot. No, don't frick up the teeth again. See, see, this is what I mean. This is what I mean. You get just stupid shit like this. But then watch the next guy is gonna be so cruel and devastating to the point where I'm gonna sit here looking like a dipshit. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I love how this guy's backstory is he's literally a dumbass. Like straight up. Oh, that's the coolest shit that I've ever seen. Hang on, homie. I'm gonna move you over here. Yeah, dude. Ugh, fuck. Please say something. Why are you silent now? Thank God, okay. All right, cool, now we got this fucking douchebag. What's your story, lad? Oh God, what the snake fucking does it. Oh, that's creepy as shit. All right, what we got? Voice one, uh, Devin Pate. All right, he's 19 years old, man. That's such a shame. A plumber died. Uh, uh, I'm sitting here saying like this shit like it's real, bro. Fuck it. A plumber passed away whilst looking for a large leak inside of city pipes through a bioengineered worm. What? Which happened to be in constant pain, making it very angry all the time. It lunged out at Devin and tore into his flesh. The worm was a type of security system developed by Dave as contracted work. What the hell? Yo, what is going on with the main man, bro? Tab is a sick, twisted son of a bitch, dude. This is nuts. Like, this is honestly just crazy as hell. This is... Oh, God. Oh, boy, oh, boy. You gotta love it, don't you? You just gotta have a good day with it. Like, th surely I can't show this. That's just a whole brain. Not even like a, like a cartoon brain. That's just real. Yeah, that's probably the scariest one of all time. That is... Oh boy, that is some creepy ass shit. Not even gonna try to pronounce that. Suffer the same fate as Paige for the same reason as well. But there was no justification. Who the hell's Paige? We haven't gotten to Paige yet. Suffer the same fate as Paige for the same reason as well. But there was no justification. What does that mean? What does that mean? What do you mean there's no ju- Okay, justification is a reason. For the same reason as well, but there was no reason. What the hell does that mean? No matter what, he looks like a dick. All right, who we got next? Honestly, this looks like the duck with a twisted bill. Yep. He looks incredibly wholesome. Oh boy, I am perfect. Another clone. It's the short ones that do it, you know. It, 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 it's the short descriptions that really hurt you. So, okay, hear me out for a second, right? Maybe I'm too, I'm looking too far into this. I don't want to sound like an English teacher here, right? But let's let's try to look at some fucking symbolism in this shit, right? Is this man's description just "I am perfect" because he worked? Because you get that the whole point of this, right, is that they're meant to be clones, right? And they're like, yeah, my first attempt, my second attempt, failed attempt. But this guy, his description is just, he's perfect. So is this it? Is this the clone of Tab that he's been wanting? Is this the boy of the hour? This is heinous. All right, lad. Oh, look at you, little tarantula looking thing. Oh, God. Yep, yeah, and that's the noise you decide to make as well. Sounds fantastic. Zuri ponders Ray Pond 15. He's 15. Leave him alone. <laughs> the cult hated this person for being involved in Dave's pardon, where he agreed to commit to complete obedience to a hospital and for his own methods of torture to be used on him if he ever want. What the fuck is this? Homie is 15 years old, bro. What is 15? Is that like a sophomore in high school? Right? Is that no? What is it? What's a 15 year old in school? Dude, what the hell is this? He wanted torture to be put onto himself? What do you want about? What do you what do you mean? 
Can homie just like play Mario Kart or some shit? He's gotta really do- uh, What the fuck? Homie is having a damn stinker. In every way. That guy just took off. Uh... Oh, there he goes. Okay, that was bizarre as hell. Okay, great. Alright, last guy. What you got for me, baby? Any kind of juice? He just leaves. He just leaves himself. Swell. Okay, that was a uh, that was a good boy. He was yes, he he was uh, he was one of my favorites actually. You know, if you were to take all the all the people in the world, shut the hell up. If you took all the people in the world, he would definitely make my top list of favorite people on the planet. I am imperfect. Fucking shit. Uh, God. <laughs> all right, cool. All righty, Roo. So uh. Yeah. So okay, what is what's the story here, man? So. Pretty much what I've gathered from this is that the homeboy tab is clearly on that fuck shit. That's just, that's just a guaranteed little factoid for you. He led the cult this whole time. I don't remember if his backstory in Orin AO1 was anything like that. I don't remember, but... So he, he's the guy spearheading this whole thing. He literally is the antagonist of this. And... He's still doing his whole shtick. Right, with the fucking finding victims and no, doing no-nos to their bodies, right? That's that's still going on. That's still a thing. But everything else, though, is some fuck shit. Because homie is out here trying to clone his damn self to no avail. Until we get to the bitch of the hour who just said, I'm perfect. So, that's wholesome. 